Oh, hi guys! This is Skycrusher9, and welcome to my first DS Let's Play. Yep, Chibarobo's back! And, uh, oh. Oh, wrong, wrong way. Okay. Hey, why the volume wasn't coming on my DS? It's actually going through the theme because I have a decent audio filter now. But, uh, yeah! Guess what? It's Chibi Robo again, and it's his DS counterpart, and... Let me mess with the audio again. Okay, now it's gone. Um, there we go. Wanna be careful with this. Don't want him to mess it up. There's a guy, magic, and a butterfly, and stuff. But anyways, let's just get right into this game, since I'm not one for introductions anyways. Uh, there's my godly file there in the <laughs> file 1, so we're gonna get ahead and go into file 2. Because... Stuff, I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, color flower. Um... I guess... Red? Yeah, let's just go with red. So yeah, very exciting stuff, because, like I just said, this is my first DS game. And we're gonna start off with a, fa a good favorite of mine. Secret Software Box is committed to making a difference in people's lives. It's the premier name in home robotics, we are proud to unveil our latest innovation. Please give a warm welcome to the newest member of Citrusoft Robotics family. Blooming GB Robo! And the guy screamed so loud the birds flew off. <laughs> Alright, so you're still four inches tall, just like before. Let's look at some of the improvements as it rolls off the line. So, this takes place a bit of time after the original GB Robo. And they've come up with a slightly different version that looks, I believe, the same. Although it's kind of hard to tell with the downgrading graphics. <laughs> oh, look at him. So cute. Oh, he's getting zapped. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, uh -huh. I'm just putting the finishing touches on the blooming Chibi Robo prototype. There's a good nudge. I'm very excited! And there we go. All good. Hello. Hello there, little one. I'm very pleased to make your acquaintance. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Dr. Duke Harrell of Citrusoft Robotics. And guess what? You, my metal, little metal friend, are a flower-blooming model. You should be very proud because you're tasked with an important mission. You see, pollution is a major problem worldwide. Green places are going gray and flowers are vanishing. It's a terrible shame. And the bees are going away! But the bees! That's strange. <laughs> That's why I invented you! <laughs> Hold on. It's time for your first test. Listen carefully because I won't repeat myself. Alright, so we have two things there. You will be using your boombox and squirter. <laughs> oh, look at this. It's sparkly. Use the boombox right over there to make flowers produce seeds. And there's a little squirt. We have to get a real squirter this time, not that little toy syringe that we had this last time. But yeah, we use the squirter on the buds, and they go into flowers. But let's get started. See that flower over there? I'm not getting consistent with the voices. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Can you get to produce even more flowers? Alright, so we finally have control of TV. We're actually controlling it during a commercial. Uh, the pad is to move. They can go in circles. Drag. You see some buttons in the bottom screen. The top one uh, centers it behind him. The second one, I believe, just zooms the camera in and out, although we can't really tell here. And there's even a button for picking out your plug now, so you don't have to get next to it and press A anymore or whatever. So, that's good. And, uh, alright, we can only put it down for now. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab these two things, the boombox and squirter. A lot of the commands that you're going to have to be doing are going to be actually through the touch screen. However, I don't really have to show the touch screen all that much because, again, commands are kind of simple. But anyways, in order to get this flower going, like you said before, let's get our, our boombox. And play a catchy tune by spinning the tape spool with good timing. So, time to be quiet. Oh god, this is going bad already. Alright, so, yeah, you have to get a good enough score for this guy to get going, so let's find that proper speed. Oh man, look at that! Perfect 100! 
Now, but it's going to be producing a lot more buds than that if you ever go 100, but I believe the cutoff is 75 in order for the flower to produce buds. But anyways, once you got buds, just pull out your squirter and push it up, and you'll produce a flower. And some happy points, too. So let's go ahead and get these guys ready and wait. Oh, yeah, yellow, my favorite colors. Ooh, that one's green. Huh, my favorite colors. This new model is amazing. You're a smart little robot, so you probably already know this, but here's a tip. White flowers produce seeds whenever you play music. However, colored flowers won't produce seeds no matter what you do. You got all that? Oh yeah, and of course, trademark answering with Chibi Robo. I believe you have to say yes, otherwise I think it just repeats himself, so... I know you smart. Thank you. I'm sure you'll be just fine once you leave here. I have to say, though, I will miss you. But the world needs you, Chibi Robo. Just do your best. Good luck. And that's the tutorial. Chibi Robo's gardening capability is a green answer to the pollution epidemic. He can turn barren, polluted areas into lush fields of flowers. And like all models, this Chibi Robo is equipped with our patented happiness-generating technology. And that's not all! To commemorate the blockbuster sales of the original TV Robo model, that's a lot, we have a very exciting offer! As part of our strong commitment to a cleaner, greener environment, we will provide a TV Robo to parks all over the world! For free! That's a lot of chucks. Kind of weird looking chucks. Also, my voice guy. And naturally, Scissorsoft will cover the shipping as well! Are you serious? Yes, we're serious! <laughs> uh, I had to. Our fleet of trucks is leaving the campus now. And they're heading to your town today! That's a lot that's a lot more trucks than we saw before. <laughs> Citrus off, we're ripe with innovation. Had <laughs> to get one last pun out. I guess. But yeah, TV. So, this is a little... This is essentially the town that we're going to be s spending a bit of our time in. You'll become familiar with it. Don't worry about it. Although, it probably will be a tiny bit of time before we actually get into the town proper. Because, after all, we are a blooming TV robo Which means we have some... Oh god, those hexagon wheels. <laughs> Yeah, DS graphics are definitely a bit of a downgrade from GameCube, I admit. But it's so nice and sparkly. Could have dropped this a little bit nicer, but... Oh well. What's this weird box doing here? Oh, I hate this guy's voice patterns. Also, everyone's so big and you hear them just thunking around. How people are just leaving trash here? Oh, look, I blame them. Ooh, that's... Probably more beach than park. Just look at this gross park. There's not a way I'm hanging out here. What a dump. So yeah, this place is a little bit worse for wear, more or less. Also, let's get going. Oh god, who are you? Good morning, TV Robo. Um. Alrighty then. Let's turn those happy boys into Watts. Um, okay. Wait, what are you doing? Oh yeah. <laughs> so he's gonna absorb our happy points. This is gonna be a very big mechanic of the game. Let's recharge next. You're fully charged now. You have 20 watts left in your reserves. Your new life starts today, Chibi Robo. Aren't you just bursting with excitement? Who are you? <laughs> Where's Telly? I miss Telly. Oh, I totally forgot to introduce myself. How embarrassing. Please excuse me. Stop trying to hide off screen. My name is Chet. It's very nice to meet you. So this is Chet. I'm looking forward to working with you. The park isn't much to look at today, it's true. But from what I hear... 
Ooh, man, look at that. It used to be the most beautiful place. There was a lush carpet of green grass! And of course, there were lovely flowers covering every square inch of it. I can't yell still. Mm. But nowadays, things are pretty different. Mm. Not even the townsfolk make their way here anymore. It's just not right. We gotta fix this park up like it used to be. So step one. Let's get some flowers blooming out there! And a major thing. Let's see, there are three flowers in the park now. I'll just try for 20 flowers. I don't need you to do a Chibi Robo. First, let's get the Chibi Gear section of the Chibi PC open for business, okay? Oh, oh! I almost forgot. Since you run all electricity, be sure to keep your battery full. So they're just going over everything at once. If you let your battery drop down to zero watts, then you got some problems. So, come back to Chibi House often to recharge, and say hi to me, too. And by the way, Chibi World. Alright, and here we go with the saving. Let's go ahead and save. So, uh, there's a lot of major differences between the GameCube and DS versions. For one, we're no longer really caring about happy points as far as ranking. We care more about how many flowers we have in the park. So, it's no longer like that. And the happy point and what mechanic is definitely a new thing, too. Uh... Can we do anything with the PC yet? There's a bit that we can see around here, but there's not much we can do. Uh, no, yeah, we have to get 20 flowers and unlock the shop. What we can see right now is a forecast. Um, it's not really going to show much right now, and it never rains, just to let you guys know. And then there's stickers, but we don't really need to look at that right now. So, let's just go ahead and go. Oh, oh! I almost forgot! I'm so sorry, but I can't join you. Not to be mysterious, but I have my reasons. But there's good news, too! Our visual and auditory capabilities are connected. That means I can see in here when you see in here! We're always together! Uh... <laughs> Perfect response. Why are you looking at me like that? You think I'm lying? No, I think you're creepy. <laughs> Go out there and see for yourself, then! Alright. There's Chet right there. Hello? You copy Chibi Bobo. Uh, nope. Static on my end. <laughs> it's me, Chet! Over! Phew, don't scare me like that ever again. Oh, now you're just asking for trouble. <laughs> I'm so glad we can keep in touch this way. Alright then. So let's go. Alright, so basically how we start this game is basically what we started before. You can see we have a new button now, which is the map. We can kind of see, like, some flowers where they're located, how the park is structured. You know, this is actually pretty much the same construction that my original park was, if I didn't know any better. But um, we're just going to go ahead and get going with, you know, m you know, the main mission. Producing flowers and getting happy points. So get a, another good random jig here. Oh, another 100. So yeah, you can see we produce a lot more seeds when we actually hit 100 and we get all these buds here. Whenever a new flower is born, essentially, they produce happy points. So these are definitely something you want to collect, especially early on in the game. And when you put one on them, of course they bloom. You can see like a little counter there on the upper left hand side. Basically if you bloom flowers quick enough, and I lost the count combo there, you do get a combo for happy points. So it kind of encourages you to kind of get like a chain of uh, flowers going at once. Let's see, it looks like, yeah, all these are going to be, um, I don't know. They, I believe they call it white flowers, but I, I, I think they're more pink than anything. Um... Um, I can probably get away with boomboxing these two. As long as I don't mess up. Damn, three perfects in a row! Jeez, <laughs> look at all those guys. Um, I could probably water a few of these before I run out on low. Alright, yeah, now we're in critical mode. Alright, so let's go ahead and- oh shoot, I shouldn't have stopped there. 
Alright, this guy, and then we'll go back. So, the game's kind of telling you to look at your map to see where the house is. You can kind of see... Oh, there's another one. Uh, you can kind of see on the map, like, it's going to be down there. It's always going to be down there, just to let you guys know. But we do need to go back and recharge. And the important thing about happy points in this game is that... You, you basically have a central collection of watts. And happy points are the only way that you can recharge that, or basically refill it. And watts, well, just to say right now, there are, there is no money in this game. Watts is both your currency and your life source. So it's a good idea to make sure you get happy points every time you go out. Otherwise, I think you have a possibility of game overing. I've never actually tested to see what happens when you run out of both energy and watts. But, yeah. Let's see how many flowers I managed to put out there in those three flower groves. Oh, wow, we went up by ten. Huh. Alright, then. So, we're already at 13 fl uh, flowers. And, uh, considering that we're already over 15 minutes, I'm probably going to go ahead and call this, um, this video a wrap. So... This is Garakush9 with Let's Play Chibi Robo Park Patrol. And in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and get to that 20th flower, at the very least, and get the Chibi PC unlocked. So, until then, I will see you guys later.